in section two, we're going to tackle big data tool for SQL Server 2019 big data cluster with Spark. In this video, we will see how to use and implement big data using MS SQL CTL. On the beginning of our lesson, we know that MS SQL CTL is a requirement before we can deploy big data on AKS. It is because the actual deployment is being done by using Python utility MS SQL CTL. MS SQL CTL is a command line utility written in Python that enables cluster administrator to bootstrap and manage the big data cluster via REST API. Okay, so the minimum version for this one is version 3.5. You must also have PIP that is used to download and install MS SQL CTL tools. Since it's a Python utility, you need to install Python first, then install the utility using PIP install. Here are the script. Kindly follow it. So first script, first line, if you would like to uninstall. If you have any previous release of MS SQL installed, it is important for you to uninstall the MS SQL CTL first before installing the latest version. Use this first script. Now, if you are uninstalling MS SQL CTL corresponding to CTP version 2.2, Use this second script. For CTP 2.3 higher, replace CTP 2.2 to CTP-2.3. Next, if you would like to install MS SQL CTL with the following command, use the third script here. Wait for the uh, installation to finish. The deployment would be made easy because you are just going to run the file deploy SQL big data aks.python. But have you ever tried to open that file? just to see what are you executing on the endpoint. This is the um, sample uh, file inside that of uh, deploy-sql.big-data.aks.python. When you open the file, you would see the whole process of deployment and that the actual creation of the cluster in your Azure account is being done by MS SQL CTL. The value cluster name and others that you can see was already prompted by the script beforehand so you don't have to enter it every time making the deployment faster. If you would test it multiple times, you can modify the script already so you just have to run it. This is the output of the creation. If you want to delete the cluster, just use MS SQL cluster delete name and then force. 